clone evolution to defeat the clones. Clone Evolution is a revolutionary sci-fi card game by FTE Games, that's now available for iOS devices. The game's story begins in the year 2045, where a team of scientists from a company named FTEC are unveiling the results of their biological experiments. The final product is an ultimate warrior made up of the strongest genes ever synthesized in the history of mankind. This clone is now the number one threat to humanity. The good news is that one former F-Tech scientist was able to foresee this terrible outcome, and has taken measures to try and counter this evil plan. Your job is to help in this battle for the survival of our species. You will need to fight fire with fire by assembling your own clone army from hundreds of historical heroes. The battle will be fierce, but you need not worry. Our clone evolution cheats, tips and tricks will help you succeed in your mission. Understand the roles. The composition of your team is the most important decision you will make in this game. It is not just about putting together all the strongest characters. There are three types of characters in the game, and you will need to use a combination of these three in order to succeed. We listed the different types and their descriptions below for your reference. Tanks, these are your frontliners and damage absorbers. They have high health and defense, making it difficult for enemies to take them out. Support, these characters have varying skills, but the overall theme is that they boost your other units and inflict status effects on opponents. Damage dealers, as the name implies, these are your main killers. They are usually squishy but can decimate enemy teams if given the chance. There are six slots for you to fill when creating your team. You have two slots for frontliners and four slots for the backline. Naturally, you would want to put your beefiest tankers in the front line, so they can soak up the damage from enemies. This will give your damage dealers the chance to attack without worrying about retaliation. Opponents will attack in the same order. They will start with the frontliners then make their way towards the right. Keeping that in mind, you should always put your strongest damage dealers on the rightmost side of your formation. This will give them the longest survival time which translates to more damage done overall. Train all you want. Clone Evolution encourages training by rewarding you with resources on top of giving your units experience. Take advantage of this by training as much as you can. Make sure you always have the maximum number of units in training. If you are about to log off for the day, don't forget to queue up your weakest units for overnight training. This will give them a massive experience boost that will help them catch up with your other units. Hold on to your green heroes. As you play Clone Evolution, you will collect more heroes as rewards. This is great, but you will eventually run out of space. One way to alleviate your space problem is to use your extra heroes as sacrifice in upgrading your main team. When you do this, try to avoid sacrificing any green heroes in the process. You will be able to unlock the institute later on in the game, and when you do, you will need green heroes to get affinity boosts. Use green heroes as sacrifice only when you are out of gray heroes, and you are out of space. An alternate way to keep your character's lots empty is to just keep your robot shards. Use them only when you need materials for upgrading your units. Save Arena Tokens You can earn tokens by winning in the arena. These tokens can be exchanged for various equipment that can greatly boost your team. However, since your first few levels will just zoom by, you will end up needing to replace your equipment quickly. That is why you should hold off on using your arena tokens until you are at least level 40. This way, you can use the equipment you purchase for a long time. Utilize the Institute The Institute allows you to work on your team's affinity bonuses. Make sure you take time to understand and fully utilize this for your units. The best attributes depend on your team composition and play style. Make sure you choose the ones that will complement your team's abilities. If you can't decide on which element to focus on, you can pick water, 
it is really useful when it comes to expeditions, so you can't go wrong with it. It will be a while before you can unlock the institute. Until you reach that point, make sure you hold on to all your clone scrolls. Once the institute opens, you can use up all your scrolls to level it up quickly. That's it, friend? Yes.